atstovai, padėsim bendrą Lietuvos Latvijos Estijos ir Izraelio premjeros pradus konferenciją. Aš tik pirmai priminsiu jos neigą, iš pradžių sekti visų premjerų pasisakymai, o tuomet pusėlė jūsų pausimus. Ir pradėjo papašys Lietuvos premjeras, o viską neigiai. Dabar dienai visiems pusirinkusiems, gėlėmi kolegos, Šis metais Lietuva pirmininkauja Baltijos ministrų tarybai, todėl labai džiugu vėl matyti kolegas iš Latvijos ir Estijos. Latvijos ministra pirmininką Mariju Kučinskį ir Estijos ministra pirmininką Jūrį Ratą. Jau sunku nuskaičiuoti kelintą kartą per paskutinius pasantrų metų mes susitinkame etikos ir transporto. Džiaugiuosi, kad po paskutinio mūsų susitikimo birželio pradžioje Estijoje, kur taip pat dalyvavo ir Lenkijos ministras Kirvininkas Moraveckis, pasiekė kitin svarbų susitarimą dėl Baltijos elektros energijos tinklus informizacijos su kontinentinė Europa. Įgyvendinus šį visiems svarbų projektą padėsime vilkinį tašką Baltijos šalių energetinė priklausomybė nuo rytų. Vis dėl to šiandien istorinė diena ir kitų priežaiščių. Todėl naudodamas jis proga noriu kuo nušildžiausiai sveikinti Izraelio valstybės ministrą pirmininką, Benjamina Tanijahu, atveikus į Lietuvą. Diena istorinė, nes šis vizitas yra pirmas Izraelio ministro pirmininko vizitas Lietuvoje. Pirmas istorijoje keturi šalis susitikimas, na ir metai yra istoriniai, nes visos trys Baltijos valstybės minė valstybingumo šimtmetį, o Izraelis 70 metį. Dar kartą noriu mus visus pasveikinti šią progą. Vakar su Izraelio ministru pirmininku aptarėme dvi šalio bendradarbiavimo klausimus, o šiandien aptarėme visiems mums aktualius transatlantinio bendradarbiavimo ir regioninio saugumo klausimus, bei galimybės toliau plėtoti bendradarbiavimą tarp mūsų šalių. Esame... Thank you, uh, Prime Minister, and thank you, Prime Minister, Solius, Marius, Lewis. Uh, this is a, uh, a wonderful opportunity to make a historic uh, beginning. This is the first visit of an Israeli Prime Minister uh, to the Baltic States, to Lithuania. Uh, it is uh, deep uh, with meaning both in a historical sense, the experience of the Jewish people, the community that had been here, was destroyed, uh, was reconstituted really in the Jewish state, which now comes here uh, to the reconstituted democracies of uh, the Baltic uh, group. Uh, we're all small democracies, but with giant spirits of our people, uh, committed to freedom, committed to uh, liberty, committed to seizing the future, and I think we can seize it better together. Uh, I am delighted that uh, the Prime Ministers have accepted my invitation to have uh, the next or a future B3 meeting in Jerusalem. We want to enhance it with a meeting of uh, Baltic business and technological people and scientists, because I think this is where our future is. We discussed two big areas. The first is the area of innovation. The future belongs to those who innovate. They are tremendous uh, intellectual powers uh, in Israel, in uh, Estonia, in Latvia, in, uh, uh, <coughs> in Lithuania. And if we pull them together for certain projects and we have some ideas, clear ideas in mind, uh, then we can make our people uh, advance at a much greater pace and to be at the cutting edge of certain industries, even new industries that people have not uh, realized. I give one example uh, is cyber. You can give other examples here, uh, whether it's lasers or e-government, where there is a tremendous advancement here that I, uh, and in other areas that I've admired in the Baltic region. Uh, we can be at the forefront. The fact that we are small doesn't mean that we can't be big. If we focus our energies in the technologies of the future, and we harness the talents of our people, we can be very big. Uh, and uh, I think this is the first area. The second area is security. We uh, 
are already cooperating in uh, a number of security and defense related uh, areas. And here too, I think that we can do a great deal more. We discussed this uh, in some detail. Uh, and I believe that, uh, uh, I believe that more can be done. I uh, unabashedly asked the help of uh, my friends here in um, making, uh, correcting what I think is uh, a distorted position, a distorted view on Israel uh, in the EU. I don't mean the EU countries. We are doing that on our own uh, with all the countries of uh, Europe, uh, the large and small. I'm talking about the, uh, the organization as such. We discussed a number of ways that we can, uh, we can advance better agreement. One of the areas that I think is not fully understood is Iran. Uh, the nuclear deal with Iran threatened Europe as well because it didn't really stop the race to a nuclear weapon. In fact, it enabled Iran to pursue the enrichment of uranium unlimited within a few years. What would it break the, open the path not to a, a nuclear bomb, but an entire nuclear arsenal. But at the same time, it also brought to Iran's coffers billions and billions of dollars that were used for the purposes of oppressing uh, their own people inside Iran who suffer under that tyranny, and of course, uh, seeking to expand the conquest uh, of the Middle East to Iran, in Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen, uh, in Lebanon, and so many other places. Um, I think that the decision yesterday by the EU to give 18 million euros to Iran is a big mistake. It's like a poison pill to the Iranian people and to the efforts to curb Iranian aggression in the region and terror beyond the region. Iran tried to conduct a terror attack on the soil of Europe just a few weeks ago while Iran's foreign minister was leading with European leaders. That is uh, incredible. And I think giving money to this regime at this time uh, is a big mistake and should be stopped. Where will the extra money go? It's not going to go to solve the water problem in Iran. It's not going to go for Iranian truck drivers. It's going to go to the missiles and the revolutionary guards in Iran, in Syria, and elsewhere in the Middle East. Uh, I think this should be changed. I, all countries should join the efforts to uh, restore sanctions on Iran in order to press them to stop their aggression and desist on their terrorist activities. Uh, we have had, uh, uh, I believe, uh, uh, not only a meeting of the minds, but also a meeting of the hearts. Uh, there was a, the tragedy that befell the, the Jews uh, here uh, was one that resonates for our people and resonates for me personally. My family came from Lithuania over a century ago uh, to what is now Israel. Uh, but there is not a person among us who does not know uh, the depth of that tragedy. And the fact that the governments here have taken a strong position, both in restoring Jewish sites and also in fighting anti-Semitism so unequivocally, so clearly, is something that we appreciate deeply, and it's also part of this uh, growing friendship between us. So from uh, every respect, I think this has been a very, very successful meeting, and I hope to continue it, as we say, next year in Jerusalem. Thank you. Austatud ajakirjanikud, kõigepealt ma soovin täna ta saulust. Selle võimaluse veist, et olla taas Vilnuses ja Leedus ja, ja loomulikult äh, oli suur au, nii peaminister ja hea ameti kaase Maarise Sauluse ja loomulikult peaminister Benjamin Netanyahu ka siin kohtuda. Ma tänan selle võimaluse ees ka Iisali peaministrit, et olla selle ajaloolise kohtumise juures ja ma väga loodan, et et järgmine kohtumine ei võtta aega sada aastat, et seda saab teha kiiremini. Aga paar sõna, mis ma tahan öelda kõigepealt, minu mõelest oli kohtumine väga sisukas, suurepärane, kohtumisel olid olulised teemad, mis on ka Eesti jaoks, 
väga täpselt püüda leida parimaid võimalike lahendusi. Ja kui me võtame näiteks Iraani teema, siis siin Eesti ja Euroopa Liit, me teeme kõik selleks, et tagada, et Iraan ei arendaks oma tuumarelva välja ja see on minu meest hästi oluline. Mul on hea meel ka selle üle, et Eestit ja Iisali, kui toib paar sõna öelda kahepoolsetest sohetest, ühendab tegelikult digi ühiskond. Me mõlemad kuulume nii Iisal kui Eesti maailma arenenumaite e-valitsemise riikide koondavasse võrgustiku digitaalne seitse ja käsi käes Iisali töö digitaalse identiteedi ja digitaal või digi algirjade turvalisusest oma naabruses ning soovib kaas aidata ka lähis ida konflikti rahumeelsele lahendamisele. Viksõnas võels Neval Devet Valt Traditsi. Ta ei ole normaal, trīs viena reģiona valstu darba ikdien. Vienojies arī Izraels kolēģis Benjamins Netanyahu, lai gan geogrāfiskais attālums starp Baltijas valstīm un Izraelu ir visnotraid pieklājīgs. Mūsdienu globalizācijas un geopolitiskos apstākļos mums ir ļoti daudz tēmu, par ko apspriesties, par ko meklēt kopīgu valodu, kopīgas intereses ar prieku, pieņem arī ielūgumu par nākamo samitu tikšanos Izraelā. Sarunās lielu uzmanība aiz vienu pievērši ir mums jau izveidojusies starp Latvijas un Izraelas aizsardzības ministrijā. Vēlos uzsvērt, ka Latvija ir vērstavs sadarbība ar Izraelu, gan uzņēmēja darbības, izglītības, transporta, kultūras un citās jomās. Īpaši es gribu uzsvērt izglītības jomu. Jau šobrīd stāts, ka tikai sadarbība un dažādi jautājumi risināšana dialoga ceļā var novest pie pozitīva dialoga. Tas attiec kaus konfliktu noregulējumu mums tuvās valstīs, gan arī plašākā mērogā, Un mums es augstu novērtēju mūsu iespēju nepastarpināli dzirdēt arī situāciju tuvēju osaustumus. Priešuška valstībe, kas ir Rusijai, Izraeliju priešuška valstībe ar partnere? Ačiū. Well, Russia was a very hostile country at one time. Uh, I told the Prime Minister that when I was um, in the Army 100 years ago, actually 50 years ago, to be precise, uh, we were fighting Russia in 1969 along the banks of the Suez Canal. Uh, Russia was supporting uh, our uh, enemy at the time, Egypt. Uh, they were shooting at our planes. We shot down Russian pilots. Uh, it was the height of the Cold War. We were and are squarely with the West. Uh, they were supporting, they were leading the Eastern Bloc, so naturally we had conflict and, uh, as I add, even armed conflict. Uh, obviously, with the, um, over the years that changed, it changed most dramatically with the fall of the Berlin Wall, uh, but it even began to change before that. Uh, but after the Berlin Wall fell, the relationship between Russia and uh, Israel underwent a transformation. We don't see everything eye to eye on uh, quite a few issues, but more and more we had uh, uh, the opportunity to forge a new relationship principally uh, because a million Jews from the former Soviet Union and many of them from Russia came to Israel, became part of Israel's uh, uh, success story. Um, and there was a natural human bridge of language, of uh, culture and so on. Uh, so that relationship underwent a transformation. Uh, and uh, we obviously would like to see uh, the relationship uh, being strengthened by common agreement on everything, but this is unrealistic in today's very complex world. And yet we agree on many things. One of the things that we uh, uh, had to deal with was the decision by Russia to put their military in, um, uh, in Syria, right next to our borders. And I, in repeated meetings, um, engaged Mr. Putin and suggested something that he agreed to, and that is that we make sure that our forces do what is called in the jargon, it's a horrible world, 
word. It's called deconfliction. Make sure that we don't go back to where we were 50 years ago and shoot each other's planes from the sky. Uh, and we've uh, been able to prevent that. Uh, I've said that our position uh, is that Iran must leave uh, Syria. Iran is trying to establish a forward base, military base, with the express purpose, declared purpose, of destroying Israel from Syria. Naturally, uh, we have to resist that, and in so doing, we take uh, from time to time military action. Uh, and so far, uh, uh, this has not involved any kind of clash between us and Russia, and that's uh, for the good. Uh, in any case, we uh, We'd like to see uh, uh, a peaceful Syria, one that doesn't have Iran, and we'll continue to take the action that is necessary to ensure that Iran does not occupy Syria militarily. Pane Spernelį, kokią konkrečiai paramą pažadėjote ponui Netanyahu Europos Sąjungoje jautriausiais klausimais? Tai yra dėl Irano ir dėl Palestinos. Matyti reikėtų kalbėti ne apie konkrečią paramą, bet apie galimybę išsakyti savo poziciją, Izraelio poziciją, kuri yra ir argumentuota ir pasverta atitinkamais faktais, įsakyti poziciją, kuo daugiau vyriausybėms, kuo daugiau vyriausybių vadovams. Tai šiandien nuo susitikimas yra puikus pavyzdys šitos paramos, nes tiek vakar aš diskutuodamas su Izraelio ministru pirmininko ir oficialaus susitikimo metu ir vakarienės metu, tiek šiandien mūsų formaliam susitikime duomeniai, kiek Izraelio dėka, jo žvalgybos institucijų dėka yra užkardintų teroro aktų Tiek Europoje, tiek pasaulyje. Dar daug klausimai. Indrė Makarytytė, LRT. Mano klausimas yra Latvijos premjerui ir klausimas yra iš dviejų dalių. Ar diskusijose, šiandien diskusijoje buvo... Va vakar pasiūlė Europos Sąjungoje, Briuselyje, susitikti Europos Sąjungos vidaus reikalų ministrams ir Izraelio vidaus reikalų ministrui dėl terorizmo tarėti tas diskusijas. Ar jūs tam pritarėte ir kada tai galėtų prasidėti? Latvijos premjero, paprašyčiau pradėti. Sakšo, ar otrojo tas ir atrak, atbildi ir ją. Mes domai, ka Attiecībā uz terorismu tas ir varžs visā pasaulē. Mēs esam zonā, kas netiek tik ļūdzīgs piedalīties šādās diskusijās. Jā, tas ir svarīgi. Attiecībā uz pirmo jautājumu. Punktu pār Baltijas attiecībām ar Krieviju mēs pārunājām. Pirmam kārtām uzsverot, ka Baltijas valstīm nostājas šais jautājumos ir vienāda un nedalā. Līdz Minsks vienošanās izpildēji mēs neuzskatām, ka var būt runas par kādām izmaiņām sankcijās. Mēs arī uzskatās paužu, ka zināms cerības visiem dēlu. Sauļus ette vanek on kindlasti uvitav, ja et seda arutada, nii nagu teid jaate, siis pead tähendama seda, et et see eeldab Euroopa Liidu kõikide riikide toetust, aga ma ei... Šito klausimu? I deeply appreciate the position of Lithuania first by the foreign minister who invited me to speak about Uh, Israel's view of the region in the EU uh, foreign minister's meeting, and now the uh, initiative of the interior minister inviting us to uh, uh, speak on terrorism. We've already conducted the first meeting. The second meeting can start yesterday, as far as we're concerned. I want you to know that Israel has prevented dozens of major terrorist attacks on the soil and over the skies of Europe. Not once, not twice, again and again and again, 
primarily terrorist attacks on European soil. Um, and it, there has not been any country that has contributed more to the security of the peoples of Europe against Daesh terrorism than Israel. And I'll be happy to put that forward uh, or to have our relevant uh, officials put that forward in an upcoming uh, meeting uh, in uh, Brussels as soon as uh, we're invited. So thank you for this invitation. Thank you. Uh, the Israeli Prime Minister said the purpose of the visit is to challenge the European consensus on Israel through contacts with blocks of countries within the EU, such as the Baltic States. Estonia recently held an important role within the EU leadership. What is your position on the EU's support for the two-state solution and the international status of Jerusalem? No, it's a question for it's Estonian Prime Minister. I would love to hear your answer as well. <laughs> yeah, I tähtele selle küsimuse eest. Eesti tõesti oli eelmise aasta teisel poolel Euroopa Liidu eesistuja ja Eesti toetab siin Euroopa Liidu ühisseisukohta. Loomulikult see on kahe riigi lahendus, aga me soovime loomulikult seda, et kogu Lähisida rahuprotsess kulgeks rahumeelselt ja Eesti toetab siin Euroopa Liidu ühtsest seisukohta. Aitäh. Tõi, nõrjad juba tegu 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 t